I'm going to show you how to pair some tried and true colors that we go to all the time as type threes with a few new items that we've just launched that you're going to love. So make sure you watch this to the end because I've got a hack at the end. You're going to, you know, don't fast forward. Watch this. You're going to want to incorporate this in your makeup routine. Type threes, we get stuck in go to. We don't give ourselves enough time to learn new things. So I want you to set apart maybe a once a month to try a new makeup look. Now I've worn my denim shirt on purpose. I don't want to try and have to figure out a new look with a color. You know, one of our other type three shades. I wore the denim because this is a neutral that we all look good in and I know it will work with any new look. So first tip, wear a denim shirt when you're trying a new look because you're going to accentuate the look and it will anything will go with this denim. I'm going to incorporate some real tried and true basics here. We've got a medium, uh, a light and medium and a dark shadow, but the new item that you're going to fall in love with is this peacock blue and that's going to be the star of our show today. What I'm going to do with this, you're going to love. And then how I dial it up I'm going to show you at the very end to really make it stand out. And then I've got two blushes, a medium and a lighter. I'm going to give you a new blush hack that's going to give you an instant facelift. I'm not kidding. It's remarkable. I've got a new kind of a pinky coral lip liner that I'm going to show you how to make your lip pop with this and a new gloss to add it in a very specific way to give your lips just enough pop that you need. So I do have my primer, my, my cover up my primer and my foundation in place. So I've set the canvas. It's ready to now apply my color. My brows are done. So now I've got this canvas, but you can see it looks pretty washed out. I don't have much life to my face. Our number one feature as type threes, I feel to accentuate with makeup is our eyes. We have these deep inner points, deep outer points that are set on a V. We're going to play with that today. So the first, we're going to start with our eyes. And the first thing we're going to do is just take, um, all the items are listed in the collection, by the way. So I'm not going to tell you the colors. So everything's listed. You can look it up. I'm going to just take the lightest color here. I'm not putting it over the entire I'm going to just do the inner half of my eyelid to pop, to bright my eye and create it. It opens the eye up just to put the light right there. Okay, so next I'm going to take, I'm not going to use both of these. I'll pick, I think I'll pick, I'm going to pick this one today. You could do either if you want to get more of a shimmer. I'm going to use the matte. Now I'm going to use a brown staple. This is a staple in my, it's the go-to, brown eyeliner, the gel brown eyeliner. And I'm going to just line the outer third of my eye. Now I'm going to show you another trick. You've seen some, if you're a makeup connoisseur and you like to watch makeup video reels and that, you'll notice there's a lot of women putting these paper uh, cutouts on there here to create a nice angle. I've got a faster trick for you. I'll show it then. So just the outer third of each eye. Okay, now I'm going to have you dab a little bit, almost to the waterline on the inner eye. Just about, not hardly even a quarter. So we're not matching up. We don't want a solid line. Just a you're just tapping almost to accentuate these inner points. Just tap. Just a little tap. Okay. To give it and to really feature it. Okay. You see that I'm taking my angle brush and I'm going to take this. It's a medium light brown, kind of corally brown. And I'm going to, uh, now it's important that the angle, the wider part of the brush is on the outer eye. And I'm going to go over my, I'm going to soften and blend my liner and I'm going to take it into the crease. 
just in the crease of the eye like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. So I've created some color in the shadow there. Okay. Now, if you want to, if you've got some hooded eyes going on, you might want to take the blender brush, get the lighter color and do the lighter than this lighter whoop, right above it. It'll open the eye up right here. Just like that. Now here's where the fun comes in. I'm going to take my liner brush and I'm going to swear the peacock blue. I'm going to just tap. It's a strong color. It's a strong shade. I'd never recommend it be an entire color over the entire eyelid. It's an accent color. And I'm putting this blue over the top of where I use the brown. Okay, just right there. Underneath. We'll clean that up at the end too. No worries if some pieces of it fall. We're going to now do the same on the inner, very inner eye there and here. Get that blue in there. Same thing over as strong as you want it, as light as you want it. We're going to do the outer part, even if don't worry about any mistakes, any color falling on your face. We're going to clean that up and show you that trick at the end. Now I want a little more blue. I'm taking this brush and I'm going to just dab a flat side of it and make an angled stroke on each outer eye like that. Now you're going to see it more. The liner, um, using the peacock blue for the liner is not as pro. You don't want it to be like, oh, is that peacock blue? <laughs> the liner. This is where it really gets to be highlighted this trick here. Now I'm going to take my blender brush and just blend. I'm always wanting to stroke up in the corners like this. And now my trick is when it comes instead of those temp those cutouts, if I've got color, I do this at an angle, this at an angle, and I do the swipe inside. I've cleaned it up. A lot easier than putting paper on my face. Now we're going to do cheeks. You'll notice that I've got a darker and a lighter. I am. This is going to give you the facelift effect. I'm going to take this darker, more of a shading color. We've been taught to put this under the, the cheekbone. I'm going to, so I tap low, put it right on the cheekbone. Okay, right there. Both sides. We're heavy handed, so we want to blow off so we don't stamp color on our face. A little more there. Now, I'm going to take this brighter color and I'm going to, the fatter side of the brush, I'm going to, again, lightly, I'm going to do a sweeping motion, backward C, right here. Do it on both sides. That's where my color's going to pop my eyes, lift the face, lift the cheek right there. And now I'm just going to, I always take my extra color off my brush and I dust up above my hairline, down right under my jawline to give definition. You see the facelift I just gave myself? I want an audience here right now applauding me because I think it's so remarkable. <laughs> And now I'm going to take that new lip aligner and I am going to start at the middle of my bottom lip and then go, don't, I went above, I didn't go down here, I went up, inside, just like that. So I'm kind of going a little bit lower than the lip line. Now I'm going to start here, a nice peak, and bring it right to the corner. 
same here. Nice. And now I'm going to take my Q-tip, kind of tidy that up under here, here, and here. My lipstick. My new lip gloss. I'm not going to put it over all the lip, just in the pucker heart right here. The fattest heart of the lip right there. Now we're going to up the game. These are fine, but I want to feature this blue. I want to really feature my eyes. This is a little trick I've learned through my 20 years of teaching DYT. That peacock blue in my eyes now is going to pop more because I'm earrings. When you play with your earrings, can help accentuate what you've done with your your eyes. You can go more with the peacock blue. Just remember it's your accent color, not an overall color. It just gets a little too overwhelming. We want people to see your eyes first, not your shadow. In fact, is a final pass here. I'm just going to add a little bit more into my corners. Just like that. You don't want makeup to ever be the attention grabber. You want it to support you first, to accentuate, honor your beauty, not dominate for you. So much of what we see nowadays has is all about the makeup getting the attention and not the true woman. It's makeup month. Everything's on sale. What did you think? Which of these are you going to incorporate? Remember, remember, denim shirt works with anything new. Give yourself at least one time a month. Put it in your phone reminder and say, I'm dedicating some time to learning a new makeup look to become my new go-to because we are the type of we go to what we know will go fast. So learn a new one to make it a new go-to using these new colors with old colors.